All right, here's just a uh, long shot of the old Coast Guard station, which is now part of CMU and the lighthouse. And right in front where that door is, is where the house used to be that they're trying to rebuild. And then we were told that this road that says road closed used to have about an inch of water over the road when you drove it. And they nicknamed it Car Wash Road. As your car went down there, the water would spray up. But it's closed now because there's more water over the road. There's about a foot over the road. And this building next to the uh, boathouse was part of the Coast Guard station. It's now the St. James Township Hall. One of the historical walking tour plaques is here. And the other part of the uh, old Coast Guard. Uh, the tour is here. This is the tour that we took. It wasn't that dusty old gray van that I thought. Side. And this is the research facility, now owned by CMU. Apparently, they don't have indoor plumbing. Now these flags are not at half mast, so my guess is that Memorial, they're probably always flying at half mast. It shows you Central Michigan's name. And a uh, seagull perched on one of the logs. Look at the other side of the building. And there's a sign. Let's give a little plug to Central Michigan University. Overlooks the bay and out to Lake Michigan. All right, here's a plaque about the Beaver Island Harbor Light Tower. 1856 it was established. There's a lighthouse and a life-saving station. One point was the Whiskey Point Lighthouse. There's a picture today, or well, not this day, but modern picture we should say. Got a spiral staircase inside. It shows you before restoration, after restoration winter. I'll take their word on that one. I'm not coming here when it's snow on the ground. But there's the actual lighthouse, the light tower, and to your left in the screen would have been where the house was located. Again, I said many times they're trying to raise the money to restore that house, and hopefully they can. Next to the lighthouse is this memorial plaque. in memory of Beaver Islanders who died on the Great Lakes. Starts with Edward Martin in 1869 and goes up so far to John Bennett, died in 1984. All right, we drove our bikes down the uh, road that said it was underwater. We didn't see any water until we got, oh, maybe half a mile down. And here's where the water over the road starts. The road is right up tight to Lake Michigan. 
and I'm assuming as you go around the corner, uh, I can you can can't really tell probably on camera, but I can kind of see that there's more water way up there. The Bud McDonahue Memorial Ballpark. This is the Bud McDonahue Memorial Baseball Field. Taking an upside down camera bike tour of it. So hopefully it'll come up. Nice covered dugouts. Scoreboard. It's very nice. We're heading to the uh, Islands Toy Museum. And here we are at the Beaver Island Toy Museum and a toy store. And I just wanted to point out before we go in, all along Michigan, they have these like two sections of a fence and people a lot of times put their flowers in front of it. You can see up the road, there's two sections here and then a little bit more up there. It's kind of an interesting idea. Some people have some great flowers, some people just do weeds. So inside the museum, if you're looking for the ancient toy and collectible, it is in here. Including a very cool train. And a train up there. Some ships and planes. Jewelry. even has a friendly dinosaur. Although this is not a painted rock, it's interesting. The hands holding some small little birds, some sunglasses. It's very interesting. And across the street, there's some more beached boats. Ruby Ann here. Ruby Ann won't be fishing anymore. A tiny sailboat down there. You have to figure there was a day when the Ruby Ann was on the water and it was its last day on the water. I wonder if they knew that. There's the Mary M, which is a nice big tugboat. And the Ray DeRocher, I guess. Not sure how you pronounce that. Across the way, straight at the end of this dock area, that is where the ferry comes in. how you get to and from the island unless you own your own boat or plane or you're an extremely good swimmer I don't recommend that one though I found a uh, a claw there's my souvenir hopefully you can see that eagle flying up above beautiful
in the seagull. But that eagle is beautiful. Here's one of those two section fence with a very casual frog relaxing. Now one of the things we learned on the tour is there is only one gas station on Beaver Island and it's owned by the Martin Gas and Oil Company and there's one of their old boats beached off to the right but this uh, red and yellow barge it's called the Petro Queen that's how they get the gas from the mainland to here they own the barge they fill it up somehow it gets transferred to their gas station and if you need gas when you're on the island, you only have one place to go. This looks like an old boiler. Probably came from one of the ships. There's an old, uh, an orange barge there, old gas barge. But the red and yellow one is the newer one. All right, now we're gonna stop for lunch at the Whiskey Point Brewing Company. Quick look inside the Whiskey Point Brewery Company. One of the unique things, they have a license plate with the island zip code on it. A quick look inside the actual brewery. That's where all the magic happens back here. And the uh, artwork on the wall of the ex Coast Guard station in the lighthouse has their Whiskey Point sticker on it. Out the window, they have a very Nice view of the harbor. Very patriotic guy welcoming you know, with the uh, Beaver Island flag as well as the American flag. You can dine outdoors if you want, and they have uh, some games for you to play. Around the restaurant are some kegs. I don't know if they're full. I could have brought my. Uh, my tapper in there and we would have found out meanwhile I'll just enjoy my beer with some grapefruit in it it's very good I don't know if that sign is accurate but it says this is where King Strang mortally wounded June 16 1856 Here's a list of the uh, beers that they have. And on the other side is their menu. I'm told the uh, pretzels are very good. We're having a pepperoni and cheese pizza. So that is our flat bread pizza with cheese and pepperoni. Uh, with a bite missing. We uh, forgot to document it beforehand and we each took a slice and just took a bite. So it was very good. So we'll see how it is. So we're going to try the pizza. I do recommend a flat bread pizza. And wash it down with some uh, grapefruit beer. It's a sign out front of the King Strang Hotel. And the hotel itself. It 
it's now a uh, private club, it's condominiums, so it's no longer a rentable hotel. Across the street here is the St. James Yacht Club. We're going to head inside the Paradise Bay Gifts. Not sure how that opens up, but it's a really cool looking case. Outside the uh, gift shop, a very nice gift shop, by the way, the Monarch Butterfly. On our way back to the hotel, you got this very interesting old, rickety old building in the woods. We'll be passing by the uh, railroad track. Yeah, it's the Beaver Island Gallery. Not exactly sure what that is, but... And back to the interesting looking house that looks like a western building. Very cool. Not sure what that is. Off to the right to our lodge. And we're back safe at our lodge. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Guest Adventures. I got a nice, fresh monster drink to freshen up with. And I'm going to thank you for coming along on this video. Hope that you subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Subscribe to the channel if you've returned here but haven't subscribed yet. It would help me out greatly. Thanks again for coming along on a guest adventure, where everyone's a guest, including me. I'll see you on the next video.